Welcome back to the channel. It's Andy. Welcome back to Little Hope from the Dark Pictures Anthology. Oh, she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. So yes, welcome back. Uh, last time we met up with all of the uh, protagonists in the game. Andrew, there's Angela that we're playing as now. Daniel, uh, Taylor, and the teacher, whose name is John. Sorry, I had to refresh my memory there. Uh, so these were the passengers on the crashed bus we saw. No sign of the driver, which is a little bit strange. Um, so we're now trying to find our way into town because we can't go back to the bus. We've got a thick thog, which is keeping us in. So we can't go back to the bus. We're going into town to try and find some help. Uh, we did find someone called Vince at a bar drinking alone. But there was no phone. There's no power. So there's no one we could call. So we're going further into town. Uh, we did get dragged into something by this little girl, Mary, who seemed like she was from, from a different time period. And... Uh, it was very sort of spooky and scary, uh, so that was really, really strange. It was Angela and Andrew got dragged into that. Daniel and Taylor were in a relationship, so they've got some stuff going on. And John is the lecturer slash teacher, professor, whatever you want to call him, who's meant to be kind of leading us, but has kind of found himself, you know, not having too much authority. So that's kind of where we are at the moment. So we're going further into town. Uh, we've got a car here, which might be abandoned. Uh, we can keep looking around for some other bits and pieces as well. We're being followed by some weird things as well. There's definitely something not quite right about this place. Um, is there anything this way we can go to? No. Can we do anything with the car? Oh, there is something over here. There's a, a barrel of some kind. What do we have on here? Oh, a postcard. This is another picture. So these are good. These are premonitions. Someone is having a gun pointed into their head. Uh, that's the bus driver. That's the bus driver. I'm sure it is. Okay. Um, that's a black border as well. So that um, that's a potential death. So we could lose the bus driver. So there we go. We found ourselves a premonition. Can we go any further back here? No, okay. Is everyone else here? Yep. Yeah. Here's Andrew. Uh, nothing else we can do. We can't look in the windows. Anything over this way. What was that? You can hear that, right? I'm sure I heard something then. I'm sure I heard something. Viewpoint ahead. Cool, we'll be able to see where else we have a bit further ahead of. That's what I could hear. It was a deer. Might get a better view from up there. Are we going to go that way or are we going to go further ahead? Can we go further ahead? I don't really want to get separated, but I want to explore. Yeah, so he's just come back down from the other way. Yeah, I want to look ahead. I might miss something. Looks like there's a little clearing to the left. Maybe. 
No, there's not. Okay. Ooh. I don't know. I mean, it's said to... Oh, hold on. What's this? Little Hope Historical Society presents The Witch of Edmonton, a play by Rowley, Decker and John Ford. Performing in a historical dress at Little Hope Middle School, 17th of April, 7pm. Okay. Could this have something to do with what we saw? Uh, n don't know. I guess it could, but... It felt a bit more like real that. than that. I don't know which like is Like the worse. jump scare and everything? Ghostly apparitions or... A town full of historical weirdos. Hmm... All oh, traits are updated. What have we got? Oh, the Andrew trait's gone down. Oh, everything's going down. Oh, dear. Angela's not very popular, is she? Uh, Skeptical, indifferent, and abrasive she's got at the moment. I haven't picked up any secrets recently. Uh, but the bearings we have lost. What's this? Andrew didn't comment on the intent of the girl. Okay. Girls did in the road and caused the driver to crash. A girl appeared to be watching Taylor and the others. Mary introduced herself to Andrew and Angela. Oh, yeah. It's not Mary. It's Mary. Right. I'm going to go check out the viewpoint. Andrew did bring it up, so I do actually want to go and see what's up there. Looks like there's a park bench up there. So I think we probably should check it out. Well, I'm not sure we can really see too much up there. But there does seem to be something here at least some empty bottles ghost towns of the northeast little hope the town returning to nature the abiding image of a ghost town in the popular imagination of an arid desert shack surrounded by tumbleweed however ghost towns exist even in the lush northeast of the united states buried away in forests forgotten and abandoned to nature the reasons for towns to become ghosts vary but inevitably comes back to economics the town may have boomed from logging mining or industry then the jobs go and the people with them. The aptly named Little Hope is one such town. A one factory community built around textiles that disappeared when cheap imports overwhelmed the market. After many attempts to save the mill, it closed and a mass exodus ensued. Soon the school and even the church closed, leaving a desolate ruin. Little Hope is a deserted town, but the forests that surround it continue to lure extreme sports enthusiasts. The caverns of Hobbs Deep are famous for ice climbing, but its ice falls are known to be very dangerous. We'll look out for them. We recommend viewing architects of something or other. In this week's episode, Kate Wilder rips the mask off the Zodiac Killer, but will our hard-hitting investigative style unearth any new facts about the notorious killer? Worth watching for the stunning views of San Francisco taken from the Golden Gate Bridge. Okay. So there we go. Is that all that was up here? Okay. Great viewpoint, Andrew. Really good idea. Yeah, that is all that was up here. Okay. That wasn't really worth it, was it? Let's keep going ahead then. Everyone else is still there? I couldn't see Taylor for a second. She's hiding. But she is still there. Right, so we've seen that. So we'll keep going ahead. See what else we can find. Is that a clearing? No. It's getting very dark. Okay. Something's... What, is that the girl? That's Mary. That's her. Mary. Mary. What can you t tell us about Little Hope? Anything? Mary? Mary? Okay, she's not listening to us. What's this? Anything here? No. There's a tractor. Oh, there's a tunnel slash bridge up ahead that's something else to look for oh, we've got a 
Road to the right as well. What's this? Does that say school? There's something up ahead. Which way? Can we move it? I was can about to say, move that? what? <laughs> I think she meant, can we get a move or not? Can we move something out of the way? Look at um. That. Hey, wait. Stop. Mary. I'm just going to say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. Oh, shit. What the hell do we do now? Mary? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. That's it. Take the lead, Mr. Professor. Um, We've seen the girl before. Although, no, she was very aggressive towards the girl, though. That might not have been a good idea. She was a bit unfriendly towards Mary. So, oh, shit. Hey, you two! The fog's gonna separate oh. us. This is not good. Oh shit, I oh, don't go closer to the girl. Why would you do that? See, this is the problem. We're gonna go into the fog. And we're just gonna bump into him again. Right. Uh, yeah. We're going to have to do this, aren't we? Um, look at, yeah, our relationships have gone down. Uh, understanding and truthful are sort of coming through. John refused the author of a drink. Oh, yeah. We could have taken the drink from Vince. We didn't do it. So now he's going to confront the girl. What's he going to say about the girl here? Girl appeared to be watching Taylor and the others. The group saw a girl run from them into the darkness of a covered bridge. Oh, this isn't good. Come back. Actually, no, don't come back, please. She's turning the lights off. Hey! Anyone there? Hello? Anyone? This is... Oh my god! Get off me! John! Oh, is this another... person dragging this into the past? Why is it you want from me? Why, what, what do I want from you? I mean, I'm not being aggressive. Who are you? What are you doing here? These are most troubling times. Wait, why is everyone go. northern? Stay away! I'm not saying anything. My God. Please, Lord, I beg you. Rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. <laughs> this is getting weird. Let's Let's come back. Town. Okay. It's not so far. So that now. fog was separating him again. Shot at getting help. You guys okay? Um foreboding. I am not going into that godforsaken town. Not now, not ever. You were going before. Why the sudden change of heart? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. How should I be reacting? You think yeah. I'm overreacting? I just saw a woman who looks exactly like me wandering around in a fog, which seems to have a mind of its own. What would be an appropriate reaction? What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize. And most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. 
I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never ever split Those up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way. I'm I mean, it's going not, there. but yeah. I'm a John. Uh oh god. I mean, the strength in numbers. Daniel's probably going to go with Taylor. I'm sitting on the fence. I'm being a wimp. We can check out more options if we split up. I'll go with Taylor. It's not Angela's going to stay where she is. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. Who's Angela going to go with then? Is she staying with John and Andrew? Yeah, it looks like she is. Got a feeling we'll find <coughs> out faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. I think Taylor and Daniel might get a bit distracted. We'll see. Right. Uh, so we're going back to the bridge then. Has anything happened since? Anything different maybe? No, it doesn't look like it. Can we backtrack a bit? Oh, wait, yeah, we can... Can we go this way? No. I guess that's where they went. Okay. We're going across here, then. We can't check out the house, it seems. So... I thought I saw something for a second there. I think it might have just been a bush. Right, let's go. I think Mary's disappeared. Mary. Hold up. You hear that? Oh shit. <laughs> what the hell was that? Shit. Oh, oh shit. That was a QT I didn't realize. Angela? Don't help her up, Andrew. Come on. What the hell? How do, did that thing have like a wheel? What on earth was that? Are we okay here? We're good. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. What the hell did we just see? Uh, what's Andrew's relationship? The Angela one's gone down, as we saw. The stranger? Andrew fell to the ground after leaping over the barrier near the bridge. Okay, so that's Vince related. Deeper understanding as well. Angela was intrigued by her lookalike. Okay. Not scared by it? I guess we'll see. Right. Can't go backwards. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I don't know what even that I was. I know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. What the hell was that? Now what? What's up? What? <sighs> you look worried. Are you okay? What was? Yeah, thanks. Was that John behind us, or was that a, left, just a, a figure? Something here just. Uh, what we've been through and seen tonight is difficult to stomach. We all have our own way of coping. John here feels the urge to be our leader, the alpha male. Well, he is the professor. He is kind of responsible for all of us. Different, somewhat more animalistic urge. I'm just going to let her vent. Of course, I'm sure you've already worked out that there is only one person you can truly rely on. Yourself? Don't give up on us yet. Don't give up on all of us just yet. If we stick together, we will make okay, it happen. The Angela ones dropped down a bit. That's not good. I'm not sure about that. You know, you sound just like Daniel. We should catch up with John. These relationships with Angela really aren't going well, are they? Oh dear. 
This isn't going well. Oh, hello. What's this? There's some markings in the ground. Oh! There's another, another thing, whatever you call it. It's a Blair Witch sort of thing. Shh. Oh, God. Angelo literally just looked that way. What is that? Why would I want to go back that way? Why would I do that? Okay. Are you okay? Feels like Angela is constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. But he's not wrong. How would you handle all this in my position? Um. Stop worrying about yourself. Don't worry so much about what you're doing. You need to look out for all of us. Jesus. I am looking out for you all. And look at the thanks I get. Just like the rest of them. You're judging me. I'm sorry, John. I, I know you're feeling the strain. That's okay. Okay, this is getting better. Thanks. Right. Angela's just standing there listening to that. So the, uh, the John's gone up. That's good. What are Andrew's traits at the moment? Uncertain, insecure, altruistic. The fearful's locked. And we've got detached and practical coming through at the moment. So I think that what happens to your characters may well depend like on which that. traits you unlock. There's nothing to worry about. So if you unlock particular traits, then it could mean life or death, depending on the decisions you make as well. We're gonna get jumped again. Fuck. Wait! Some leader you are. Oh, it's a keep calm thing. It's probably just an animal. It's almost certainly just an animal, but I'm waiting to be jump scared. Told you. It's just a cat. What is it? What's wrong? We saw well, something whose cat? There. I don't know. What exactly are you up to? I'm just taking a look here. Isn't this breaking and entering? No, the I door's open. You don't. Anyhow, there's no one here. Right. Oh, as a book, Modern Magic and Ritual by Ronald Nelson with initials TC. Modern Magic and Ritual is the definitive guide to the subjects of magic for the new age as opposed to magic for stage magicians. Written for practitioners to own their knowledge and arts, this book examines in detail all aspects of modern magic and offers readers a rich menu of rituals to practice. In fact, magic spelled with a K tends to mean it might be a very old book, but we'll see. Whether you believe in karmic consequences or not, there are ethical considerations to magic such as curses and hexes. These clearly have greater implications than other ethical conundrums like casting love spells on another person. Some paths forbid it entirely, while others permit it only in self-defense. However, there are a number of questions the practitioner should ask before casting a harmful spell. Do you dwell too much on the desired results? You may experience disappointment and depression if the result is not what you expected. Are you performing this magic for personal gain? Emotions of avarice or envy might interfere with the magic. It's said that if you don't let go of a grenade, you will eventually blow yourself up. The same can be said of working harmful magic. Even if you don't believe in the rule of three, it's always best to cleave to Rudolf Steiner's golden rule. For every one step that you take in the pursuit of higher knowledge, take three steps in the perfection of your own character. The hair of a living person can be used in many forms of magic, from love spells to curses to polyjuice potion. When mixed with sulfur and buried, it can inflict harm on the subject. 
Ooh, sun and moon. Oh, we've unlocked a secret. The sun and moon are important to the practical magician. The sun represents death and rebirth of God, whose life cycle is marked by the wheel of the year. The sun is born at the winter solstice, matures in spring, flourishes in the summer solstice, then wanes in autumn and winter before being reborn. It sustains life, helps the growth of nature that feeds us and keeps us warm. And the moon represents the divine goddess, queen of heaven. She is the keeper of mysteries, ruler of psychic powers and unseen realms. The moon is identified with women's menstrual, menstrual cycles. Its phases are aspects of the triple goddess, so that the waxing moon represents a young maiden, the full moon is a pregnant mother, and the new moon, the crone. The sun and moon represent the cosmic balance of male and female universal forces. Around these symbols revolve many mysteries of human existence, such as love, passion, fertility, death, and rebirth, as well as the afterlife. They inspire the modern magician. Traditional Wiccan covens honour the goddess on the Esbats, the full moon, while Juridic traditions celebrate the solar solstices and equinoxes. These magic charms represent male and female of the cosmic lovers. They provide good luck, protection and fertility for couples. Okay. So that's important. So that was a secret we picked up. So what does that have to do with everything else then? Right, what's in here? Oh, a gun. with four bullets in it you all done with poking around um or do we mention the gun yeah we mentioned the gun I found this inside what the hell are you doing with a gun it was hidden under the floor you should have left it there Guns are dangerous. We're already in enough trouble. Uh, I mean, we might need to defend this ourselves. I'm keeping it. This is one crazy night we're having. I mean, who knows? We could need this. What we don't need is to get someone killed. I'll be yeah, careful. all the better I'm reason promise. to have it. Four bullets. Ben remind me to remember guns. how many bullets we have. Make sure the damn thing stays in your pants. Because it may well be that we it need again. it and we've run out of bullets. So I think we need to be very careful of how we use it if we have a chance to use it. Right. Go. Cool. Us and Angela are really not getting on. Holy. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Tool for survival. Angela found a gun. Showed Angela the gun but decided to keep it despite her concerns. The interesting thing is as well picture got a gun pointed at the driver's head uh, where's John and where's oh, there's Angela where's John 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 Are we gonna get jumps again? Sh yeah. We're get the fog has got really thick. I don't like this. Okay, we good. John, where the bloody hell is he? Wait. Did we just go back the way we came? Or is that a different shack? What kind of place is this? 
Is this the same house? It is the same house. I'm so confused. Did we, did I just turn back the same, or did I go into the fog and come back? Is that what happens? So if I keep going this way, will we catch up with John? John, where is he? Professor? Oh! I might have taken a wrong turn. <laughs> Andrew here is packing. What? A gun? Are you crazy? I mean, you would rat me out, wouldn't you? But yeah, we need it. We don't know what's out there in the fog. Better to have the gun and not need it than need it and be defenseless the likelihood of your getting shot goes up dramatically if you are carrying a weapon whatever if the gun makes you feel safe keep the damn thing i really don't care anymore little hope police department this place is our best shot there must be Tell a radio said shot or a we've got a gun. phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. All right. Let's see what we can find. Uh, a chair. Can we throw a chair through the window? Will that work? Or oh, a rock? That'll do. Another chair? Okay. Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock can through a window. Can we throw it at your head? Places, anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just what get was that conversation? The frame I agree about who can throw a rock. The glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. <laughs> oh, strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. Do you think a rookie could make a shot like that? Okay, throwing a rook at a window impressed Angela. Whatever. I'm hoping we can have a look around when we come out again. Because we went straight to that rock and we didn't look at anything else. Piece of cake. You're up next. <clears throat> right. Oh, are we with Taylor and Andrew? Uh, not Andrew, Daniel now? I think we are. Middle school. We're going to school. Um... Do we end things off here, or do we keep going? Uh, let's keep going. We haven't really seen Daniel or um, Taylor too much yet, so we'll we'll do this little chapter, and then I think we'll end you things off. That woman really looked like Angela. I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. Right, we've got a straight road here. Nothing else here for us, but we do have some light up ahead. Um, Mary, Mary, Mary. I saw you. Don't you run away from me. Oh, there's another bus. Can we access the bus? I'm sure it's nothing. No. Land for sale. Oh, hello. Hint, maybe? No? No surprise that didn't sell. Who'd want... No. 
Can't go that way. Yeah, that fog sent us back this way. So it's forcing us to go this way Wonder into the school. The school down. Uh, everyone left? Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. It's fine. Don't stress it. No one made us come this way. We'll find another way. Well, I guess we are going this way then. What's, is this a map? That's a map. Nice. Right. Oh, this is the name of all the people that live here. It's a very small town, remember. Blanchard's Pond, Lovejoy, Blanchard's, Phelps, Chandler, Bixby, Osgood, the Iron Mill, Garrison House, the Abbots, Ballard. Okay, so not a, only a few families here, it seems, that live here. Although that middle name is kind of smudged and I can't read it. 1692 as well. Little Hope Bridge. And a playground. Mary might be playing in the playground. Let's see. Mary? You on the swings? Cecil? Roundabout? Can we go on the climbing frame? Of course we can't. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a drawing. That looks like a priest. They're on their knees. So religious. Yeah. It's very sort of, you know, religion heavy. Nothing else here. She's not in the playground. <gasps> There's uh, Mary. Over there. Oh, don't. Hey, are you okay? Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing here? We're gonna get Something jumped again. Off about this whole thing. This the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Whoa! You can't be doing that. We're gonna get jumped. <laughs> yep. Oh, no. I mean, that didn't just happen. Quiet now. Be calm. What are you talking about? Shh. Get away, or you will find me. Who? <gasps> hey. Come on out, Mary. I know very well you're in there. Please, no, let me go. I will release you once I am sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. You will respect me, and you will say nothing. Is this the, the vicar no. in the drawing? What is go Can they hear us? What's going what on? What is this? We need to get out of here right now. Do not find me here. Please. Who are you pleading with? Oh, well, she can see them, but he can't. That is plain to see. You are mistaken. 
I am a child. The devil has no time for me. That could be interesting. Amy is the one he craves. I have seen it with my own eyes. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. That's interesting that she can see us, but other people can't. What the fuck? Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. I... I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. Weird, Time to go. Right with you. Right. Uh, we're leaving. So the fact that that girl can speak to us, but no one else can see us, that might make people think that she's not quite um, right. Because if you remember in the um, prologue, there the girl had like that weird demon that she spoke to, that we saw briefly. And now they're seeing Mary talk to people that aren't there. So maybe they think that Mary's like a witch or something. And that might be something we can have some influence in. Oh, it's a picture. Oh, a witch being drowned. Is that Angela getting killed? It could be. Oh, shit. Okay, so Angela is being grabbed by something. With a ch chain or something. That's not good. Something else for us to avoid. I'm glad you're here. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. Right. I guess we should go and find everybody else. There's no getting into the school. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help? Let's head over. Let me help you. What what was happening there? Was that a visual glitch or something? Why is it what is going on? That was weird. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. Oh. More creepy stuff. Don't move stuff. Oh, hold on. The secret. What's that? The rumours of witchcraft within Little Hope seem to have some substance. Rune stones. Probably wouldn't have touched those if I was him. Uh, homegrown hero. David did not intervene to help Mary after the priest caught her. Okay. Mary claimed to be innocent to the priest and directed blame at Amy. So who's Amy? Andrew Show. Angela told John about the gun as well, yeah. That was a thing that happened. Okay. So definitely some spooky stuff going on. With the rune stones. With a big ha um, barn there. There's quite a few bits around here, though. Thank Jobs, not land something? What did that say? Oh, pro stop the Raven and factory closure. Discarded signs from a process against the closure of the factory. Okay. What are you doing? Help me push this, will you? Oh, we're looking for a way Seriously? up. Seriously? 
There's no other way. I mean, there's some I've stairs behind us. Choice. Maybe you could have checked if the door was unlocked as well. That's kind of hard to Over here, read. Look at this. So it's about the factory being closed in the petition. Carver family tried to sell the factory as part of a land deal. So this is the Ravenden factory. Okay. Lots of clues in this area. So that's the way into the open window. Or we could boost her up this way. Now what? Give me a leg up. I'm going for the stairwell. So why did we just move that big cart then? <laughs> I probably Seriously? put her up here. You're going in there? Well, do you have a better suggestion? Sure. Don't go into an old, dark, creepy-ass building after the night we've had. I'll be as fast as I can. If you see anything weird, just yell. I'll come running. Okay. Will do. Be right back. Promise. Famous last words. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. Do you not have your own phone? Throw it to me. Good catch. Now she has no phone. We probably should have gone in on the lower floor, right? We could have maybe unlocked and opened the door. Is it safe? Think so. Probably would have been a bit better idea to go in on the ground floor. Notice of closure. J. Schmidt and A. Lash. Stock to remove. Snacks, magazines, cans, electrical goods and miscellaneous and magazines might still be here. That could be important. If there's anything there we can use. Right. Okay. Oh, picture. Oh, hello. Someone's found a knife. Interesting. Oh, and a newspaper as well. Local minister arrested. A minister in the Diocese of Pleasant River has been arrested after complaints from concerned parents about his behaviour. The arrest comes after recent revelations that the minister conducted an alleged satanic mass. An eyewitness said that the minister of St David's Church in Little Hope did not resist as he was escorted from his home. Captain Daniel Maguire confirmed the Reverend Leonard Carson, 42, was being held in custody at the Little Hope Police Department awaiting charges. Spokesman from St David's commented, I'd never seen the minister do anything untoward. His interest in witchcraft was purely academic and he would often warn the parents of the spiritual danger of the occult. Another parishioner, who did not wish to be named, claimed the minister was innocent of wrongdoing. That child is known as an attention seeker and I'm certain she has made up the story. Other members of the congregation agreed. Reverend Carson was a good man, a godly man, said one mother of three. I can't believe he'd do anything like this. He's been good to our family. These accusations are lies. The district attorney's office did not respond to calls. When contacted, the office of the Diocese of Pleasant River stated that the bishop had declined to comment, but that a deacon... something. 
1975. I wonder if he's related to the vicar that we saw in the uh, in the flashback. Potentially. Can we drop down and then let her out? Hello? Or let her in? Or get out? Anyone there? Lots of flashlights. Ground beef, 249. What a bargain. Oh. <gasps> Something's here. Probably just an animal again. But we're going to keep calm. Just gonna be an animal. It's just gonna be an, 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 an animal. Hello? Who's there? Hey! <laughs> Can't get through. This window is all boarded up. You gave me a shock. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to spook you. How is it in there? I got company of the rodent variety. Ooh, gross. Relax. Goblin they rings. Well Are they fed. like onion rings? Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. No, I want to check it out first of all. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I'll be right there. Will you relax? I'm coming. Oh, God, another one. Angela, how the hell? The back door is locked. What troubles you? Tell me, what is happening? Sona will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. Oh, this is Amy. Accusations. Oh shit. Accusations of what sort? Mary accused Amy. Amy. With the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. Ooh. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? Uh, Mary! I, I don't think they can see me, right? Do we test that? Do we confront them and see if they know who... Stay where you are. Fine. Okay. Just tell me They what's know happened. about us. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumours about my wife, Amy? I don't know who you are. What? I don't know you. John? Open the door, Josie. This instant. Oh, so it's John look what? like and an Angela look like. You seem changed, even your attire. Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. You will be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this. My word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver, Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. Nice I hand. Find a way to resolve this. Oh dear. Maybe we could have just left. Maybe they wouldn't have been arrested. I'm not quite sure. 
Yes, Taylor, we're gonna let you out or in or whatever. Where the hell have you been? That was weird. Yeah. You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? They could see and hear me. This was different. I think they could see and hear me. I don't know. It was hard to tell exactly. They seemed really spooked. You see anything else? Uh, the priest again? Priest. The one from the playground. I, I don't know. It, it didn't make much sense. You're kidding me. No. He was real scared. Like, he believed the devil was in little hope. Holy shit. What in the hell are we mixed up in here? Oh. Don't know. We've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. Oh, God. Great. That was, a, that was a different figure. And we're back with Andrew and the police station. And we're going to end it there for today. Went a bit longer than I expected. 57 minutes we've been recording for. So almost an hour, this one. But that was quite a long um, Daniel and Taylor chapter. So, um... There we go. So, a few more flashbacks into, uh, well, we now, I guess, is the 1600s with uh, Mary and Amy and uh, Joseph and the priest. So, Mary's framing Amy for witchcraft or, or accusing Amy of witchcraft, even though Mary's probably the witch. So, she's been arrested. The people that look like us can see and hear us. The priest can't. Mary can. And of course, Mary is very similar to Megan from the family in the flashback. And I guess the parents in that are like Angela and John as well. John was asleep. And then Angela was in the bathroom and she suffocated because of the smoke inhalation. So it's like we've got these characters in three separate time periods. You've got the 1600s with the witch trials. You've got the family in like the 70s or 80s or whatever. And then you've got the present day. They all, they're all somehow linked. We've got like the Salem witch trials. Megan was like a nuisance, but then she had an imaginary friend who was some weird demon as well. There's a lot of stuff going on. And I'm not really sure what's going to happen with it. But um, we've got a gun. There's always that. So um, we'll be back with Andrew next time. We're in the police station. So hopefully we'll find some clues here. But I guess we'll wait and see. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, leave comments and subscribe. If you haven't or if you're new, turn notifications on. Check out the FM channel down below. And we'll pick, this th we'll pick things up next time. Police station. Try and get the others... Back to the group, Daniel and Taylor, try and get everyone back together again, if the fog allows it. Um, we need to get out of here, but we seem to be picking up more and more clues, like the occults at work, witchcraft, magic, all sorts of happenings. So we'll, we'll crack on next time. But for now, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.